हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू डॉट प्रोग्रामिंग डॉट ब्लॉग स्पॉट डॉट कॉम टूडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट फीड्स यू कैन से एक्सम फीड्स विच इज़ जनरेटेड बाई फीड बर्नर ऑनलाइन actually uh, that is the same fields i will create in xml by using sp.net uh, ashx file uh, also in this tutorial i will show you how to uh, read or you can say how to get uh, data from database table by using skill connection class or sectors uh and show uh, that's uh, data in xml formats mm. okay so first of all create two tables uh, for do uh, for to do this task uh, in the first table is refer to the channel actually the structure of your uh, of your xml uh, site map okay and the next table that is feeds uh, here your data which is related to your uh, articles which is related to your channel you can say that so uh, the first table is refer to the channel let's see that mm. i have visual studio 2013 uh, to create a table channel you can do this by using the sql management studio as well as visual studio 2010 Uh, and uh, earlier and and higher okay so in this table uh, i will take uh, different types of uh, attribute or you can say the column or you can say the fields so uh, the first uh, fields in this tables i have id uh, that is integer type and the next uh, column that is uh, title the title uh, column have on the variable type uh, data types uh, the next field is description variable type and with the maximum size and the fourth field that is link that's fine uh, enough variable type and the size is 100 okay that's fine if you take a uh, date also here update the mm, database scripts in visual studio uh, similarly uh, i will create feed table to storing the feeds uh, first of all uh, put some value in the channel uh, channel table after that i will uh, create another table that is feeds that is link is dot programming dot blog is for dot com this is my blog now create another table that is a uh, feed table
the id of the free table that is uniquely identifier in which uh, i will take a long uh, uh, variable type of character that is i mean to say gyd uh, you can say uh, when your uh, confirmation email link uh, url contain that is uh, uniquely identifier text actually so here i will take the gyd in the uh, fields that is uniquely identified by the article okay uh, you can also take the copyrights material here uh, now in uh, in this tables uh, i will take uh, date also uh, the link and the last one is that is the date that is published date the name of the table that is fields Okay, uh, now add data into the feed table that is uniquely identified. So I have a value of uh, uniquely identified fields, and the title of the table is uh, it's matching with the uh, my article that is feed in USP.NET, and the description of this uh, title uh, put it here check my links and the links are http dot programming dot blogspot dot com The published date is 27 12 2015. Add a generic handler in into your project. So you can say generic handlers. Add ESHX file in into your project. Now under the process dot request uh, process request method, we can add our method uh, to uh, generate a XML type of uh, file by using the dot uh, ASHX file. It's actually this is the communication file over the network. So uh, create a uh, simple method here. Create feed. Uh, pass the context http context instance here and uh, http con that is context and the one and one refer to the that is the first id of the uh, table that is uh, channel id okay oops here yeah, this refractor is not working in the ashx file so create manually your method a uh, body in ashx file private uh, void create feed and context pass into the http context local variable and the one pass to the channel id uh, that is integer type okay that's fine
create a XML writer class, XML text writer. Uh, XML text writer class actually available in uh, uh, which namespace? Oops, I forgot it. Uh, XML text writer class available in some namespace. If you want to check uh, your namespace, then you can use the control dot. But here uh, the control dot is not working. So uh, by using the web form, you can check uh, your uh, namespace. Type here XML text writer. In the writer class, we have single T and then use control dot. Yeah, using system dot XML, you can use uh, control dot just after the name of the class file. So add system dot XML namespace type it again XML text writer copy and paste it here copy it and paste it here okay now create a instance and in this instance I will pass uh, the new XML uh, text writer create a object of the XML text writer and pass the context as well as uh, channel ID mm, context dot response dot output stream comma and encoding is uh, actually available in system dot encoding namespace so encoding also check encoding namespace yeah system dot text dot encoding dot utf8 system dot text is a namespace and encoding is a class and that is param um, properties utf8 okay uh, i will show you uh, the next in, in the next video tutorial thank you thank you very much please see the my next video tutorial